Not confidence in lack, confidence in abundance, confidence in joy, confidence in freedom, confidence in being supported, confidence in being loved, confidence in being worthy. And when you cultivate that vibrational state, you will be ready to perceive what you actually wish to perceive. And then you do. And then you enjoy it, and you reap the benefits of your previous thoughts, of your previous vibrational work. And it will be a great moment of celebration. And you will continue to enjoy it for a little, t little while, but meantime, you're already working on the next big thing. You'll become vibrationally ambitious, but without all the negative connotations that that word has gotten over the years, such as needing to steal other people's happiness from them in order to attain yours, needing to not have an eye for the fact that sometimes things take a little bit of time to mature. There is a great balanced wisdom in your heart while you are being overly ambitious vibrationally because you now have gained a taste of the fact that you are the creator. And so the limitations you previously assumed were there starts to disappear, start to disappear. And when they disappear, you start to remember your dreams. And when you remember your dreams, it will freak you out. Exactly because what I'm telling you is that whatever you dream of is already in your field and it's not only possible for you, but it's highly, highly probable for you if you match that vibration. So that should freak you out a little bit because I know that all of you have dreams that are quite unlike you have created your physical reality to be at this time. Don't worry, don't freak out too much. Just freak out a little bit. Just like, oh, whoa, yay, <laughs> uh, <yeah>. exciting. <laughs> Let it get you activated. Let it get you excited. Let it baffle your mind. So wait, that is actually, I'm actually meant to perceive that someday? Scary, but awesome. It's a little intimidating, but only if I include all the lack that I've created for myself thus far. But if I don't do that, then it's just an exciting dream and I can already enjoy the state of it without it ever having to be made manifest. And when you're in that vibrational state of pulling into the here and now feeling whatever you think you desire and feeling it here and now without inducing, oh, but it's not here now, but actually feeling the here and nowness of that dream is the quickest way to pull it into your experience. And it's the quickest way to show yourself where you contract when you think of that. Oh, but if I do have it, oh, I wouldn't quite be able to handle this. Or, oh, I don't think I'd be worthy of this much power or love or abundance or wealth or freedom. And so you work on yourself until you are at a consistent frequency where you feel that that vibrational reality is already here and it no longer freaks you out and it feels consistent and it feels like it's your new baseline and you start dreaming about the very next thing. And then the previous thing that served as a symbol for growth, now effortlessly enters your, your experience and you are no longer putting it off. You are no longer postponing that creation. You are no longer afraid of it. You are no longer believing you're unworthy of so much enjoyment. There's nothing in creation that suggests you should not be in joy all the time, except the people you don't want to end up like. So it's a great thing. Again, if the people you don't want to end up like would say that joy was the best thing and you deserve it, you should be concerned. But since they continue to say everything requires hard work, everything requires pain in order to have a little bit of gain, we're filled with sin, we're not worthy of love and support and the dreams that we have, these things are not realistic. That's what the people you don't want to end up like keep telling themselves and you. So that's a great sign. It means that the opposite is actually more true. So take other people's doubt or believe in a realistic, Newtonian, linear, limited, lacking, unworthy reality and take that as a great sign for the fact that the truth of creation is quite the opposite. You are already worthy of everything you desire. This is another great way to ease yourself into ease and then ease yourself into excitement and then ease yourself into ecstasy or bliss. Start where you're at. Slow down the negative spiral in whatever way you can until you reach a neutral point of ease. And then from ease, it's that much easier to catch the upward spiraling train of thought, belief, conviction, energy. And then you'll be right back in alignment, attracting a future of your dreams, attracting the future self that you are here to embody. Don't be so human. Don't be so human. It's not relevant anymore. It's not exciting anymore. Get over being so human. It hasn't served anyone ever to be extremely human. Then what am I? You are endless consciousness having a vibratory experience. That's all you are. 
The physical shell you've projected yourself through is nothing but a manifestation of the vibration that you have assumed. Change the vibration and your expression, your vehicular expression of self within this world, which is also inside of your consciousness, by the way, will change. It will start to change how it feels, how it looks, how it thinks about itself, how it operates, how it interacts, how it, <sighs> how it uses gestures when it speaks, how it uses its voice, everything. Everything starts to become more and more under your control. The way you express yourself becomes yours, not random and automatic and erratic. You become the full expression of your controlling self. Controlling what? Controlling vibration. Controlling situation? Nope. Just vibration. Again, as soon as you fall into the trap of believing you should control your environment, you're already giving away your power to something that has no power to create the future. And remember, the only reason you ever try to control what is, is because you believe it will lead into a better future. There's no other reason to control what is, unless you believe it will turn into a better thing, a less lacking creation. Now that you know that the next creation does never takes its cue from what is visible now, you can safely let go of situational control and rest in the pure bliss of knowing that you are a vibrational creator and that the future will shape itself around you. You don't have to go out of your way. 